Hi, welcome to Cybers here in London. And I'm with Adrian Lovell. You're the chief technologist for the financial sector with HPE. That's correct. And you talk to many different financial institutions. Yes. And what's the state of AI? It varied. Um, mm -hmm. Different customers are at very different stages in their journey. Mm -hmm. Some are really quite advanced and some are quite uh, quite naive almost mm -hmm. to it and, and really just taking their first steps. So we have some of the big boys are really doing um, some quite advanced programs that are getting into production in um, both uh, robotic process automation um, and moving into more intelligent automation as well, um, adding advisories to their human decision making process. And at the very high end, we're beginning to see um, some of the mathematical problems that we traditionally solve in high performance compute being um, addressed through artificial intelligence, not as the only solution, but definitely as an extra advisory point to feed into these automated systems. And can you give examples in domains where they built this expertise and how they solve type of solutions? At the moment, it seems, from my experience, to be quite fragmented within the firms. There's, there's, there's very, very rarely is there a one pool of this is where artificial intelligence is being run and this is where um, it's all happening. It often seems to be small projects within different business units. So if you look to the state of banking, especially yes. in the specific departments, do you see specific departments developing faster? Do you see specific cases being very popular? Um, yeah, we, I'm seeing it a lot in, in the capital market side of the business in terms of looking at risk and smarter ways of analysing the risk that the firm holds. Um, because often the problem is just too wide for traditional high performance compute. Um, so is there a place for artificial intelligence to come in and address this? Um, the challenge is, of course, of what data points do we start looking at and how do we just flood these networks with irrelevant data? And if you look and give a tip to the financial industry, what is your tip if they should go along with AI and how should they start? Um, that's a really good question. I think there's, there's go, it's very easy to run at a problem mm -hmm. just because you can do it with technology. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things I see happening are, are very cool projects that don't have a sound business reason why mm -hmm. to do it. So it may look cool, it may be cool, may, people may love it, but if it's not reducing your cost or increasing your margin or basically delivering your end business, why are you doing it? Mm -hmm. um, so um, it's, we're in a phase in financial services now where some of these projects just don't need to happen. Um, and it's pair back and really double down on the ones that are adding value. Adrian, thanks a lot for sharing your insights, especially about the financial industry. And thank you for watching here from Cybus in London at the HP booth. Thank Thanks you. Enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.